What is up, ladies? Leon Trotsky here, bringing some more Bristol Rovers career mode. You know how we do. And today I got a couple league games going here for you. We did drop a couple points that we were, had an opportunity to pick up in the last couple games. I think we might have had our first loss. So it's going to be really important getting a couple points in these league games. Starting to land line up here pretty similar. Payne and you'd say Clarkson at center, attacking mid, Brogheimer and Richards out, out there in right mid. Pretty simple defensive mids. I think I got Gill and Lunson in there. <clears throat> a quick little shot of the uh, league table here. I am still pretty low. Six, sixth place it has me there, 16 points. Still pretty tight there towards the top 15 to like so it looks like the spread through the top 10 is like 13 to 17 so it's still pretty good and uh <clears throat> we get started off here early um, they had their chances. They definitely had a couple chances here. A couple little sloppy plays, and they get a nice little breakout up the wing here. And sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> I, I just, like, look at that through ball that they lay off. And I, I don't know what else to say besides whew, when it bre breaks off the post like that. <clears throat> we come back here with a nice passing movement. I find that a lot of my goals are built up through here, through passing movements and stuff like this, where I just got to pass it up left to right, all the way up, work it up the wings, and then back into the middle here. I think I got Brogmeimer there, dumps it off to Clarkson. Clarkson eventually makes a little bit of room, steps to the outside, and just drills it near post. Uh, Clarkson's a nice player, a little bit older. Uh, starting to find him some playing time because he can play center forward, he can play right midfielder, he can play striker, which is always nice to have that depth. But I'm starting to find him a little bit more time. He does have a nice weak foot, but he doesn't have the pace that I like in a striker in, in those positions that he's in. So it's going to be tough to <clears throat> fight for fight for playing time among uh, some other players here and uh, we almost get another chance here at the uh, right at halftime 45 minute Clarkson steps around his defender there and just drills it just far the near post there so we go into halftime one nothing would have been nice to pick up that second goal before half but we'll take one nothing into halftime here uh, <clears throat> and then we come out here in the 60th 60th minute I believe it is here and we obviously, you know, we got to make a nice little break, nice little defensive tackle there, get a great little lucky bounce on the ball, catch Anyanse on the break with a nice through ball here, and he just buries it far post past the keeper. Nice shot there on the break week. You got to bury those, and you got to love it when you do. So Anyanse picking up his second game, uh, second goal of the game, or it's not his second goal of the game, but he's doing some nice work for me. He's got some pace. He's got some finishing ability. He doesn't have the strength, which is <clears throat> what I definitely need when I start playing tougher opponents, start playing people that are a little bit stronger and move up in the ranks. But we do finish up the game there 2-0. Always nice picking up the three points, get a couple nice player ratings, almost at 8.0. Rekic is still doing great, 8.2 rating there in that game. And uh, it's a couple of little scores scores around the sides there. I it, It's not super important at this time, but I'm going to start needing to keep an eye on some of those places that are that are close to me in the league table. I think, uh, uh, who is it, Chesterfield and somebody else are up close towards the league table. And this is an important note. I'm looking at the calendar here, and it looks like I do have another league game. But after this league game, I do have a cup game. Now, I know I said cup games weren't going to be super important. I was going to be focusing on... Uh, mostly winning the league and getting the league title so I can get promoted and everything but when you see a cup game coming up on your on your schedule it's hard not to maybe play a little bit different lineup so that you can you know play your strong lineup for the cup game so I'm I'm playing Clark's, Clarkson at uh, starting a striker and Harold at striker as well <clears throat> Brokheimer and Carroll at or Brokheimer I'm starting at center attacking mid Carroll and Smith I'm playing on the wings Gill and Klukas at center defensive mid Parkus Reckick and Kenneth at my center backs Basically, I'm sitting a couple of my better center backs, a couple of my better wings, and my you know Stozier, my my better center attacking mid to play them in the in the cup game because cup games I said they're not going to be super important, but I want to pick up some points. Moved up to fifth place there. Obviously, it was nice picking up the uh, the win in the last league game here, and I just I want those three points in the goalie there, man. Off the start there, making me nervous when you're <laughs> when you give up a ball like that, just punching it right over the net. Um, I've seen own goals and stuff like that. I've seen I've I scored a goal recently where the the goalie punches it up and it bounces over the goalie and just jumps in but we get a nice break here off the corner and <clears throat> just once again nice passing movement passing movement passing movement just get it up the side i think that's uh carol out there working on the wings and clarkson dumps it off here into harold eventually harold finds a little bit of space for smith who's actually right back and he drills it near post this guy is one of those guys that's surprising you get him time you get him playing time you get him in the right positions and sometimes he can come up with goals like that he's a right back can play right mid can play center back sometimes if i need it to and uh play right defensive mid if i need him to he, he does seem to do a great job in the positions that i put him in and just you know one of those one of those things when you when you're looking at your team in the beginning of the game and you're like oh man this guy you know he doesn't look like he's going to be very good and then you start playing him a little bit more and he gets a little bit better and then he starts you know coming into his own type of thing 
situation with that there um, moving on here in the 23rd minute get a nice little turnover of a couple bad passes goes right to Harold eventually picks the ball off the defender catches a little bit of boost and just buries it far post again sometimes you get that that little turbo boost in just the right spot and it can be it can be deadly so we go up 2-0 before halftime we, wa we walk it into halftime 2-0 up and uh, nice, nice little lead going into half. It's always comfortable, always comfortable with that 2 0 lead. And, you know, we do come back right after halftime. We just push forward. We want to get that third goal. We don't want to let up the gas. Look at that. Carroll with a nice little roulette spin tries to cut inside. I think he eventually dumps it off here to Harold, dumps it off again here, and he just bears it right off the goalkeeper. Oh, it was so close. Uh, we take a corner here. We get another opportunity here on this corner. And um, they clear it wide. I think it eventually bounces to that. Uh, bounces it again to Carroll. Carroll just has that dribbling ability, and when he's on touch, he can sometimes dump it off. Harold finds a little bit of space, does a nice little step over, and just drills it far post past the keeper for his second goal of the game in the 50th minute there. And I believe that's eventually how this game ends there at three nil, picking up six points in the two league games. There is always important. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode because we got some signings going on, we got some scouting going on, and obviously we got an important game uh well it's not super important but it's always going to be a nice j paint trophy a little bit of coin on in the pocket if you can win uh gonna win and win those cup games so definitely stay tuned for the next episode guys have any questions leave them down below and i will catch you soon with some more fifa just checking out some stats and some final scores there but uh yeah till next time guys got some cup games and uh signing some new new scouted players and stuff like that so i will catch you soon